Another point on this class action lawsuit, we're talking about the professionalization of our industry. If a buyer is working with an agent that cannot structure a deal properly, they're going to lose. The hobbyist, the part-timer, the agent that's not all in and isn't a committed professional, maybe they do some real estate on the side a little bit each year, they are gonna be pushed out of the industry. Whether that's right, wrong, good, bad, that's a whole other discussion. But what we're expecting is that residential real estate is going to start to mimic what you would find in the commercial real estate space. There's fewer agents, but they're generally far more professional. This is also similar to the lending space prior to 2008. After the crash, you know, what do we see? A whole ton of cleanup and new regulation that came into place, and the lending space was professionalized. So the same thing is happening now on the residential side. Our job as realtors should be to help guide you through it. So any question you may have, do I pay the commission? Do they pay it? How does it work as a seller? How can I still incentivize more buyers to see my home? Logic would tell me that human beings need to be paid for their work. And so as a seller, I'm worried about how do I do that if we can't display that compensation on the MLS or how do I sell my home in this new environment and still net the highest amount for my property? 